Lord, mightiest prophet of the Lord? Well, uh, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me. The Lord Jehovah Makadishkin, Jehovah El Olam, the Lord Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah Ori, the Lord my life. He has spoken with me uh, this past night, yesterday. And uh, the Lord spoke to me in a very, very tremendous way about events that will take place on the earth. And in this conversation, the Lord took me to the Gulf of Mexico. And he showed me all the beaches around the Gulf of Mexico and the sexual sin, immorality, as you run from the edges of Florida this way, going all the way through Louisiana, down into Mexico itself. And the Lord, he asked me to speak forth a judgment over those cities that line up the Gulf of Mexico. Then I saw another storm gather like a hurricane and I saw it storm those cities of sexual sin, immorality and utter godlessness. So right now as we speak the Lord is calling the nation to repentance national repentance, the turning away from sin. And that's why now, that's why at this hour, the Lord God Almighty is using these signs to awaken the church, the body of Christ, to prepare the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah. The Bible In the book of Luke, Luke chapter 21, from verse 25, he says, There will be sign in the sun, moon, and stars. On the earth, nations will be in anguish and perplexity at the roaring and tossing of the sea. Verse 26 of Luke 21, he says, People will faint from terror, apprehensive of what is coming on the world. For the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time, they will see the Son of Man in a cloud with power, and great glory. When these things begin to take place, verse 28, stand up and lift up your head because your redemption is drawing near. And in the book of Joel, Joel chapter 2, verses 30 and 31, he says, I will show wonders in the heaven and on the earth, blood and fire and billows of smoke. Verse 31, the sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and grateful day of the Lord. So the book of Luke chapter 21 and Joel chapter 2 come out very, very clearly on the signs of the time. And right now, there is this tremendous shaking of the heavenly bodies that has begun. Begun with a massive titanic collision of the two neutron stars 
that the Lord commanded me to institute above the heavens here, above the sky, way back, as far back as 2005. He continued taking me up there 2007 and eight also, shaking the entire universe. And yet, in Luke 2, he says, when you see the roaring and the tossing of the sea, nations will be in anguish and perplexity at the roaring and the tossing of the sea. And he says, people will faint from terror, apprehensive of what is coming on the world, for the heavenly bodies will be shaken. And he says, when you see all these things, then you should stand up and lift up your head, because your redemption is drawing near. Right now, apart from the shaking of the heavenly bodies, now is the roaring and the tossing of the sea. All this is tied by the Lord unto repentance. The repentance revives the needs of this hour. The need for the church to purge, to be purged of sin. The need for the hearts of men to mow down the mountains that have exalted themselves above Christ Jesus. The need for the depressions and the valleys of sexual sin in the hearts of men to now be filled in the highway of the Lord, the way of the Lord made straight and marked. This is the hour of opportunity. This is the hour at which it's most exciting to be a Christian, to be born again. And born again well, receive Jesus and reject sin and wickedness, reject sexual sin, sexual lust. This is the hour. The Lord has spoken so clearly with maximum clarity about the coming of the Messiah and the standards of that day. For without holiness, nobody will see the Lord. The Lord is saying that blessed are those whose ears have partaken of this caution tonight. That the hour to be right with the Lord is now. That nobody knows the day or the hour. However, for they that prepare, blessed are they. They will be the beholders of the eternal glory of kingdom of Jehovah. I have seen the Messiah coming. I have seen the judgment of the Lord according to the words of my tongue. Strictly according to the words of my tongue, I have seen now a storm again, two storms on the Atlantic coming out. This is the hour to prepare the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah. May those who have ears Listen to the voice of the Lord. Toda and thank you.